Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, forgive the mess in the background of the shot, I'm actually doing a lot of tidying today but uh, light is short at this time of year so I wanted to film this um, while there is a little bit of afternoon sunlight to illuminate proceedings and uh, I've been wanting to show you the um, couple of other products I brought from the Guerlain 2015 holiday collection which is called Or a Merveille in French. They haven't even bothered translating it. It's called the Winter Wonderland collection in English. So um, I think it's hit the counters in the UK about 10 days ago, maybe a little bit less. Um, when I showed the palette a few days ago, um, comparing it with last year's palette, because I wanted to get that up really quickly, I'll put the link below if you've missed that. Um, and I mentioned that some of the products were sold out in Selfridges. Uh, a couple of people mentioned that Essential um, website has them with a discount. And there is another website as well, um, name of which has just escaped me. But if I remember, I'll put that in the link below. Um, not affiliated, but if you um, are interested, I think they're all offering discounts and have some, if not all of the products. So um, it's a nice little uh, collection, fairly um, traditional, I'd say. Um, I think the... I was going to say the star of the collection is the meteorites, but it's definitely the star of the collection in terms of packaging, um, and it's definitely the one that I was fixated on having for that reason. I do like the meteorites. Um, I think they're nice products, but I don't find myself using them very often. What tends to happen is I buy them and you know use them a lot shortly after I've bought them and then kind of put them away and forget about them and I think part of that is they are not the most convenient product to use um, but I was very taken with this year's packaging which is very different from anything we've seen before just by way of comparison here's last year's Petruska um, coming in especially designed tin but this kind of round um, tin with a lid and a little puff um, inside is very typical of what we've seen with different patterns on the tins and inside the little um, spheres of uh, dried powder that uh, mix together in different colours. So the colours vary from collection to collection. This one last year's was quite um, a warm gold dominated powder and uh, it's not my favourite but I do like it and I you know have used it and kind of forgotten about it but they last for ages. Um, so that was last year's and very kind of typical packaging. I've never seen one like this. This is um, a snow globe. Uh, it's a plastic globe, reasonably substantial. Guerlain there on it. Um, what I think is beautiful is it's enclosing, really, the um, gold lid. So you've got the sphere above it and then the beautiful gold. And quite a nice touch with this one, which, again, is a new thing. There's a mirror in the inside lid so you've actually got that to um, use if you want. Um, instead of the kind of pull-off lid it's a nice uh, easy screw, uh, it's looking not very easy there but I promise you it is an easy screw on screw off lid and then the usual little puff and then this year's collection which is a bit cooler although it has got golds uh, as well also has, and this is the first time we've seen things that aren't the little spheres, little stars, which I think are meant to be snowflakes rather than stars. There aren't a lot of them in mine, um, to be honest. And I've talked about this before. I think we're getting less and less product every year, I have to say. Um, although, you know, they do last for ages. So in a sense, what does it matter? Um, really, really pretty, this. Now, I have to say, I have been using it this year, 
uh, this year, this week, since I bought it every day, um, sometimes as a kind of overall finishing powder, which is generally how I use my meteorites, um, and sometimes trying to just use it as a kind of highlighter. Meteorites are always quite subtle, the effect um, that is. So if you like a very, very subtle sheen, Meteorites is probably the product for you. Um, I, as you know, um, I'm quite a glow girl. I like a, you know, heavy duty highlighter on my cheeks and sometimes my brow bone and other places. And sometimes, you know, I'm not averse to completely dusting over the face um, with a fairly glowy powder. I love the hourglass um, illuminating powders and I use them a lot as effectively finishing powders. So I'm not a matte um, powder fan at my age. I need um, all the youthful glow I can get. This year's meteorites, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, the effect is very, very subtle indeed. I can't see any sheen on them with whatever brush I use. Rather stupidly, I haven't bought a brush with me. I mean, you see you get this quite chalky powder, and that's, I think, primarily from the white stars, but also some of the lighter coloured spheres. Um, but on the skin... It really translates to something so subtle, I really struggle to see it at all, apart from um, when I apply it in my magnifying mirror, um, some definite little flecks of glitter, um, which I'm not that keen on. So I have to say, of all the meteorites I have, and I've probably got about four other pots, this, in terms of how it looks on me, is my least favourite. I'm sorry to say that because um, it's such a beautiful package and I think they look so beautiful in the pot, especially the little stars, although they're persistently sinking to the bottom as I shake it about there. Um, so do I do a regret purchasing? Not really. I mean, it's £50, which is ludicrously extravagant for something that I'm not 100% fan of. But on the other hand... You know, whilst I wouldn't say I'm an avid collector of Guerlain meteorites, I do have a few and I do just love this globe, which is looking really pretty on the shelf in my bathroom. Um, so it's a yes for the packaging, um, a bit of a no for the product this time. And uh, as a matter of interest, that's supposed to be 30 grams of product. There we go. Um, so that was one of my purchases. I showed you, um, and I'll put the link below, the palette, which is the kind of central product. I will say I've been using it this week, every day this week, and uh, quite enjoying it. To my surprise, my favourite eye, I've tried various combinations, is actually this pink with this darker shade, um, giving a bit of definition, um, creating a false... Um, lid effectively where my hooded eye is um, and I'm finding it doesn't wear brilliantly on a very long day. Um, the colours tend to kind of um, mulch in together and look a bit muddy by the end of the day although they are still there and they don't crease um, on my eyes but definitely um, fade slightly and kind of um, the colour definition moves into one colour, but I am enjoying using it. I'm enjoying using the blushes. I've been tending to use these two together, and I find they last pretty well for powder blushes on a long working day. Um, so, yeah, I am liking it. You will know from my other video that it's very similar to last year's. Now, I did want to get the lipstick. There's a single lipstick in the most beautiful packaging, um, if I show you the inside of the box of the um, palette, the lipstick is packaged in silver but with these snowflakes embossed on it and not only has the lipstick but a little mirror and it's a very pretty, um, fairly ordinary, very dupable but very nice rosy colour but at the moment, it's sold out in stores and I can't be bothered to mail order it. It's not that distinctive. I did get um, this product, which 
what's it called? It's called Maxi Velvet, and it's one of these kind of liquid lipsticks. Um, pretty colour, a um, bit brighter than the lipstick. There you can see, fairly well pigmented. And I've been wearing that this this week. I do find, in common with all liquid lipsticks I've tried, it is slightly drying on the lips, and that's not great for me with older lips. It's not as drying as some. Um, it's better, I've found, than the Chanel ones I've tried in the past, um, marginally. Um, but kind of the downside is it doesn't stain quite as much. So I think there are there are problems with this kind of product, to be honest. For me, I think, uh, whilst I love the idea of these liquid lips that um, are long-lasting, I have never found one that is as comfortable as my favourite lipsticks. So the uh, increased colour um, last is kind of um, not worth the drying effect it has on my lips. And so I kind of go back to lipstick every time. But if you like these products, you might like to look at this. There's a very pretty kind of silver um, transparent gloss. I didn't bother with that because I got the gold one last year and I haven't used it up yet. Um, there's a very dramatic and pretty purple, very shiny, slightly um, shimmery, well, very shimmery, purple nail varnish, um, very pretty in the bottle. Purple's not really my colour for the nails, so um, I know certainly one of my viewers who I, I thought of immediately, Sarah Bowtime, who loves purples, and I'm sure she's going to have that one and love it. Um, there's also a powder compact, absolutely white in the compact with, uh, I think, little bees embossed. Very pretty, very expensive. I think about £100, a translucent powder. I didn't need another powder, so that didn't happen. And there is also, rather oddly at this time of year, a bronzer, which is um, their usual uh, terracotta in a kind of mid-tone, only one shade, but covered in um, a kind of white overlay, a bit like the... Uh, overlays they did in the summer in coral and turquoise um, pretty packaging but um, not a product I was interested in so um, I really got the stars that I wanted which I think probably are these two products they're not my all-time favorite girlands I wouldn't say you need to rush out and buy any of them uh, but equally if you're a fan of the range then you're going to find something to like in this and I'm certainly happy with and using these products. Uh, I have some uh, Suko to show you soon and Chanel. Um, and uh, I will be back again soon. Until then, bye for now.